What is up everybody? I'm back again today with another YouTube video. Guys, I just finished the Batman. No, there's no gonna be introduction to this today. No, there's no need for an intro. Guys, yes, I've just finished the Batman. I've waited for basically, I've heard so many rumors about this film when it first popped up. I remember seeing the first BTS photo when it was basically um, Batman on his bat cycle riding through some street and he tripped over, he, the bike fell over. This is a non-spoiler review today, so you will get a spoiler review one, but I'm going to do that when the ban lifts up in just a few weeks or so. But you will get another one where it's just all spoilers. But this is just to give you my initial thoughts, all spoiler free, so don't click off this video because there is no spoilers in this. Straight off the bat, guys, I understand why people are giving this film a 10 out of 10. If you are going to watch this film, I highly recommend watching it in the cinemas because seeing it on the biggest screen possible with the loudest speakers as you can, the original score to this, Michael Gacciano, you did a brilliant job in doing this. I remember listening to the score. I listened to it all over the week and I heard every single song and every single song either bore me to tears. It either made me so engaged in with it hearing the batman theme across all over it in every single song it just it spiked my hype even more but watching it in the film listening to the soundtrack and the audio how it came to life beautifully sensational like it was all mastered perfectly and i was so glad to see it in lux the most finest and dynast way of watching it like thank and that was me watching it in hoyt which luckily out of the first 50,000 or 5,000 customers, I can't remember what the promo ad said, I was able to pick up this bad boy right here. That's right, I was able to get the limited edition exclusive Batman comic cover, which is now in mint condition in my hands, which I'm so happy to have. If you guys wanna see me a review, you know, show you what's inside, what, what is inside of this comic book, what, what it comes with and all that, please pop it in the comment section down below as of right now, and I'll give you a full guide into everything that's inside of it so you guys are always able to see that. But I'm so glad I was able to pick this up. It was one thing that I was very excited that they were giving to the customers back to them, you know, saying, hey, thanks for purchasing a Batman ticket. Here's something exclusive, you know, that you're gonna get in return of that. Apart from that, guys, Robert Patterson did a brilliant job in acting as Bruce Wayne and Batman. It was a beautiful story to see Bruce Wayne and Batman come out more in the detective side. Now, mind you, I still haven't seen the Dark Knight trilogy as of yet. I've only ever seen the first four Batmans with, with Michael Keaton, um, the one, the guy who plays in Batman Returns, and also in Batman Forever. I've only ever seen those three actors play so far. I haven't seen any, I haven't seen Christian Bale yet play the Batman. But Robert Pattinson did a beautiful job at nailing the role. He really bring a different side to the Batman we haven't seen before, and to Bruce Wayne especially. Andy Serkis did a brilliant job as Alfred. Unfortunately, not enough screen time, but did a brilliant, perfect job in playing Alfred. Everyone else in the cast team so so well in terms of you know putting the character out to life especially the riddler something i did not expect out of every single thing that he did in the film was just truly mesmerizing to his character but apart from that guys the film is so worth the three hours in one hour in you're literally hooked and you're just there sitting what's gonna happen next in the next hour you don't even realize you're at least to one hour left of the film you're just so engaged into the film that you're kind of just shocked to the point that you're like what's gonna happen or oh, I'm, I'm so confused is this gonna happen what's gonna happen here it's just beautifully sensational to see every single scene come out to life and to see it out in the screen it was just way too good but apart from that, guys, if you have the chance, like I've already said, go see this film in cinemas. You will not regret it. I know I'm definitely going to go watch this again this Saturday because I need to go take my other brother to go see this film. Tonight, I was able to go with my other brother because basically, yes, I have two brothers. I was able to go with the one who's already out of high school because, you know, we were out of high school. So, you know, I didn't want to disturb his educational learning because, you know, education always comes first. But I will be taking my other brother on Saturday night to go see, to make, go get his reaction into the film. And maybe I'll get him on the channel and tell you what he thinks about it. But guys, 
thank you for always tuning into the videos today. I always appreciate your love and support into this. Guys, I'm so happy I was able to see the Batman early, a day early before everyone else. I know in America, when I had just started my film, I remember when I just started the Batman, um, when I was watching it, everyone on my Twitter who had just finished it in America literally was just tweeting everything. I had literally threw my phone to the floor, didn't even want to hear a single word about it. Left it there, turned all of the notifications off, put my watch on theater mode, and I let it be. I was hooked into the screen, making sure I was getting every single bit of information. But of course I have to see it for a second time. It's a three hour bloody film, as if I was gonna catch everything to the one thing. But guys, please, if you haven't already seen this film, please go check it out in cinemas. I guarantee you will not miss this opportunity and you will not get this opportunity again if you don't get that. I'm glad I was able to watch my first Batman film in cinemas that, you know, for a Batman solo film, of course I've seen Ben Affleck play Batman vs Superman and I've also seen him in the Justice League, but I'm talking a Batman solo film where, you know, it is Bruce Wayne in his Gotham City coming out to play his games and showing us what it's like to be the vigilante in a city full of clowns and full of Halloween masked people. But enough of that guys, as per always, I hope you have a great day tonight and don't forget to go, sorry, don't forget to go hit that like, Comment down below anything else you'd like to see in this channel down below. Comment down below when you will like my spoiler free. When you sorry, not my spoiler free. Comment down below when you like my spoiler reaction to the film because I will definitely give that to you guys. I'll record it, get it to you guys straight away. And whenever you want that to happen, start commenting it down below. And comment down below if you want to see me talk more about the comic book, what's inside, everything it comes with, what's what you know, what what pages are in this, you know, give it a bit of a read, you know, maybe show it to you guys what exclusive things are in here, a little bit of details here and there. But yeah, anyway guys, apart from that, as per always, thanks for tuning in today. Don't forget to share this with family and friends. We're almost at 250 subscribers. I appreciate all your love and support. And don't forget to go follow the socials. But as per always, guys, hope you have a great day tonight. Peace.